Hello, I'm Rosemary Butcher and I'm working with the Coria Rome project here in London at The Place, the London Contemporary Dance Theatre. What is the name of the, of the project again? The project is called Choreo Rome, uh -huh. which is a mixture of many ideas. <laughs> Choreo being the, the choreography is sort of at the basis of it all. Rome to do with roaming, traveling, uh -huh. moving from various cities. Uh -huh. And it's set up to um, allow 10, 12 choreographers from different places in Europe, which this year is Madrid, Rotterdam, London, uh, Croatia, Zagreb, um, and Bassano del Grappa in Italy. The uh, choreographers from these various places get uh, an opportunity to travel and research over five months. Wow. Um, they are working also, of course, on their own work, but this is a condensed time and a time when they can make new relationships and new influences and also cultural new influences from different cities. And um, in each city they have a different week or two weeks of activities, some of which are training activities but also participating in um, events in the city but also being exposed to the uh, cultural, artistic, cultural um, standing of, of Is this a continuous cities. process? Do they go one city after the other? Yes, or just they have gaps in between. They started off, uh, we all started off in, in Bassano del Grappa in Italy at the middle of August and then have travelled um, now to London as the second venue. Um, in October there are two weeks where the choreographers will be working in their home cities and I'll be working with them over um, the net and via various <laughs> internet technologies, technologies to uh, keep the process going. Yeah. And my role um, is this time to work with them as a, a mentor or a coordinator, mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as someone who can translate the various ideas that are passing by and allow me to be able to work with them individually and uh, sustain them, their, their process and progress over the five months. So they work, uh, they are individual choreographers and do they, uh, mostly the ideas that they're exploring, they're exploring with uh, as a solos or, or do they sometimes find their own dancers? Well, I think they are finding some dancers here in London uh -huh. because of contacts. Uh, many are working on solos, but not all. One, mm -hmm. one member of, of the group choreographer is working with a lot of the other choreographers. And, uh -huh. and, and so they can work with each other yes, as performers. Yes, uh, because in this situation there isn't, uh, it isn't a setup and it's not financed to, 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 mm -hmm. to, to have people to work with. Um, other than you're experimenting really on yourself and if, if you can find a partnership during the, the weeks mm -hmm. then that is also fine because it's not about making a product that's the, mm -hmm. the main thing uh -huh. it isn't about working on something that will be then presented as a finished product uh -huh. it's about uh, researching ideas um, each of the times we get together in the different cities and maybe some people stay with the same idea and okay. look at it differently other people uh, go off at a tangent and make other other yeah. things. So it's in, it's about a time for an artist to to find new ways of working and developing their practice. Yes. Well, that is very interesting. And how do you? Is there some ways that they are documenting their own process? Because I I witnessed this project in Brazil that you know the choreographers were blogging and were kind of uh, documenting a little bit their process in a very self organizing organized way yes they are set, they set up a blog um, there's one that was set up in Bassano which was uh, more open and then there's also one that they they have between themselves I think when we get into the weeks when I'm uh, they're working on their own in in their own cities mm -hmm. and places then this will be extended out towards the group and to me mm -hmm. as to what ideas are coming up while mm -hmm. while they're away from the rest of the group and, and those ideas can be monitored mm -hmm. um, but there's also in each of the cities uh, some writers mm -hmm. um, or a writer mm -hmm. that, that is 
uh, witnessing and writing about the, the whole of the process in, uh, from the activities to the classes to the workshops and also conversing with the uh, choreographers themselves about their ideas and that will also be set up on the website as a, as a way of uh, recording emphasis on, on a product that, that reveals itself at a particular time. And what this uh, working and roaming does is that, that people reach um, a point of their process and they reach the point in their creativity which can be absorbed and understood at the time of doing and within the moment of revealing. It doesn't have to wait for the mechanism to reveal and, uh, and, it. Yeah, and the systems of circulation yes. and marketing of the and, same product. Yes, and, and the connection with the idea that it's not separate from the everyday world and yeah. that it, it can, as you said, benefit and nurture at the same time is, is coming into, in, into the fore just by or, or automatically coming that way. I don't think it's planned. I think it's the way that people will now develop and it will be the nature of how we see work. I'm a research fellow at the University of Middlesex, just uh, part-time. Um, and I'm now working at the place as a work-based artist, which is a new development that has started this season. And um, I've started this work for the Choreo Romas at, on this scale. Um, and I make my own work, but I mean, I'm thinking also the same with that, that the difficulties of it ever being seen have made me realize there must be other ways. Yeah. Um, and over the years, each generation seems to find new things but they, they don't they don't make the, 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 the progress or the process yeah. um, any we, we more always accessible. go back to this kind of very modernist mm -hmm. way of thinking about the performance mm -hmm. you know like product oriented you know a lot of paradoxes with uh, what is art and what is not yes. and contra inner contradictions even historical ignorance that I yes. call. sometimes it's like seems like we never knew about Duchamp yes. <laughs> Yeah. So I, you know, I think that we've got to now look to these, these new ways and allow them to exist um, all the time, really. Well, well, thank you very much again. Thank you. A unit that would be sort of set off um, in one place, and there wouldn't be, you know, the connections. This the, now with the whole group, they're connecting all the time to things of the past, to the future, making their own lives, setting up their own arrangements, and conversing between each other and the people that they've already have met and are working with. I think that 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 is now possible to go on with because everyone. It is is travelling. I mean, if, if moving from place to place and continuing their ideas. Um, it, this is just, in, in a way, a more condensed and specialised project that allows people to make and develop new relationships in a very particular way, um, and funded from the EU to give mm. people opportunities. I mean. I'm, I'm sure many of the opportunities are being, are being taken up, um, but I think the work changes because of that. There's a lot of work that, that crosses many boundaries now. It's you know it may be choreographic, but um, I think creatively it's looking at all aspects of society and uh, working across into film and, and visual art and theatre. So um, I think that. It's possible with these connections and with these ways of advertising and letting people know mm -hmm. that more interest can be picked up and yeah. people can follow new directions through access to the, to the other sources. Yeah. Is this the first time that uh, this project is structured this way or how do you find some kind of antecedents of this kind of project? Well, the project has been running for four years. Okay. I mean, I have worked on it for two years but only as a workshop leader I've done mm -hmm. two separate weeks last year and the year before uh, this was a new role for me to take on more of a, a, a translating developmental role mm -hmm. which could uh, help and support the progress of the of the individuals and keep in fact um, a consistent eye on mm -hmm. people's ideas and their work um, and be able to be there to support the translations of the of the various ideas that are coming to them that may or may not be relevant to their own process. Yeah. Um, so I think this was this was a role that that was brought in 
to actually connect the cities, I think, so that before there was a sort of isolation yeah. quality. Yeah. That, that is normally how a lot of the artists move around and roam around. <laughs> yes, in isolation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, well, you know, we see whether it's, it's, yeah. uh, a, um, it is very beneficial. Um, yeah. I think at the moment that there is... Um, a good sense of, of me being an outside eye that mm. can be called upon, but not making a judgment. And probably that's not such a bad thing yeah. when you're making work. Yeah, or f for a living. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much.